There's a popular Russian dish everyone has heard of. Sauteed beef and onion with sour cream sauce. Hello everyone, I'm Marcus from Kulinarisch. In the mid 20th century, this dish became popular around the globe in many varieties. Sometimes with mushrooms, paprika, cream, served with rice or pasta, and they even substitute beef for another type of meat. But everybody claims their recipe are the classic. Many stories are fabricated about the dish, and there are stories for sure. Fact is, in 1890 a French chef sent the recipe from St. Petersburg and claimed he was the inventor. But the thing is, there are older Russian dishes made like this one. Said the chef was lying and he just changed the cooked beef with filet. And what is this dish I'm talking about here? It is beef stroganoff. Back then when I was in Austria, I served stroganoff to the rich Russians who came to the Alps for skiing with golden straw potatoes aside. And they loved it. Let's show you how. First things first, I make the potato straw because it needs more time. I use 5 middle potatoes for 2 portions. Because I don't serve it with pasta or rice. To have a perfect cut with identical size and form, I use a food processor. Of course you can cut it with a knife, if you have time to cut them in the same thickness, it's up to you. My machine is Kenwood and I use the Disque for making straw. Add the potatoes in a bowl of water to remove the starch and prevent them from getting brown. To fry the potatoes, heat up the oil to 150 Celsius. I don't go higher because the straw color has to be golden. Meantime, slice two onions in stripes. Chop some parsley. Don't chop them too fine, let them a little bit rough. I use two sirloin steaks and I think it's a good way to not break the bank. But hey, you can buy filet and use it the same way. Cut the meat in stripes but not too thin. You need that juicy flesh when you saute it. If you want it well done and chewy it's your choice. I recommend a thicker cut thaw. The stripes should be the same size. In fact, same size, same cooking time. The steak from the shop was not cut well and I have to adjust it. If you do the stroganoff with potato straw like I do, you need to start with it before the meat. I take the potatoes out of the water and then I dry them gently with a kitchen towel. I spread them on the towel and roll the towel together. They are thin, don't break them with too much force and squeeze. The oil is 150 Celsius hot and it's perfect for making golden straw. If it's too hot, the straw will get dark brown and bitter. The other thing is, you don't need to stay by the pot and keep an eye on the straw all the time. See the golden color. If you made too much, there's always a use for the straw even later. They stay crisp even after a day. Now I start to saute the meat with a little bit of oil. The pan should be really hot. You want to fry the meat, not boil it. Let some space between the meat stripes and don't overcrowd the pan. The pan cools down if there is too much meat inside and then the meat start to boil in its juice. Saute them for one minute, take them out and put them aside. In the same pan, fry the onion slices golden brown. Don't clean the pan from the flavor packed font formed on the bottom of the pan. Sprinkle 1 tablespoon all-purpose flour and give it a fry as well. It will thicken the sauce later. Add 100 ml water or broth to dissolve the flour. Time to add 250 grams sour cream to the pan and mix it well. Many add also heavy cream to it, but it's not Russian. It makes your dish like a stew which is okay when you serve it with rice or pasta, but we don't. Some turns of freshly ground black pepper, a pinch of salt, always start with lesser salt and then taste the food. You can always put more salt in the dish, but there's no way to remove it. I add the meat stripes in a mixture and just heat them up in the sauce for about one minute. No need for cooking anymore. Now add the parsley and one tablespoon mustard. Spread the stripes white on a dish. Chew 
juicy and creamy but not runny. Then a heap of golden straw on top. Look at the dish. Impressive, isn't it? Let's try what I did here. The meat is medium, not well done, with a beautiful reddish hue. The meat is tender and the sour cream sauce is rich in taste. I don't wonder why this dish is so popular. The potato straw, the sauce and the meat together gives you everything. Crunchiness, creaminess and the tenderness of the meat. And the herbal taste of parsley matches well. You will impress people with that dish for sure. Fast to make and so much taste. It is even easy to make it for a crowd. If you liked the video give me a thumb up and if you want to see more consider to subscribe. Thanks for watching.